The thing I enjoy the most is actually trying to find ways to break this game. Will my computer actually be able to handle this when I set them all off? Okay. So, so I can still see... Oh, yep. I think he needs probably a hole in his face. Like, right where his nose would go. I'm gonna see if I can do this without actually destroying the rest of it. Okay, nope. Now he looks like Monstro from Binding of Isaac. Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going champs? We're playing Solar Smash Halloween is coming up so I thought we would get the entire globe all on board with Halloween by turning Earth into a giant jack-o'-lantern. I've never actually carved a pumpkin so I don't know how this is gonna go. What I want to test out first though right is this population accuracy. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy Australia here, my home country. But first let's find out how many people live there. Population of Australia, 24.99 million. I'm gonna use this laser here and see if I can just burn out Australia completely and we'll see if it matches up with the 25 million. All right, there goes Tasmania. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Only 1 million people. Are you serious? What about Sydney? Let's take out Sydney and like most of the East Coast. There we go. All right, and then we'll just kind of fry Queensland. Go through the middle all the way over to Western Australia. Everybody gets burnt. That's pretty good. 25 million! Dude, that is cool. We need to test America. Population of USA, 328.2 million. So I'm gonna go across, I, I think it's like about here. Oh God. Oops, what? <laughs> that's a bit too much. All right, just gonna fry America. I think it goes like this way. The Americans are getting angry at me now. Okay, that's about right. 458 million. Okay, so we killed an extra 100 million. Eh. I always feel bad when I target specific countries in this game, so I'm just gonna destroy everybody with a black hole. There we go. Everybody gets a black hole. The entire population's gonna be gone. Oh, look at that. Everything's getting super crispy now. I'm gonna give them just a stack load of black holes, and we're just gonna zoom in. Oh, what's inside the black hole? Whoa. Whoa! Dude! Oh man, <laughs> that is not somewhere I want to go ever again. All right, so I got a request in the last video to destroy the moon with a moon. I'm just going to get the outer edge of this moon with another moon, right? Just to see if we can skim off the edge here without getting to the core. Now the moon, the core is like right on the inside. So you can actually take off chunks off the edge here without actually showing like the magma core, which is pretty cool. It adds like a giant dent. Check this out, right? Let's go to Mars. Let's just hit Mars with like a couple of nukes. Just 28 nukes, there we go. That's a few. You can even see the mushroom clouds. See that? Hey, you notice Mars doesn't have a glowy core as well. Where's the glowy core of Mars? You don't have to dig too far to get there. So much for there being water on Mars. What a load of rubbish. The only thing on Mars is that robot thing and Matt Damon. All right, we're smashing the moon with some moons. There we go. Right through kind of the middle. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Look at that. The moon is just vomiting moons out the other side. It looks like Pac-Man, if Pac-Man just had a giant hole for a mouth. Let's go through this way as well. Let's just make a weird crisscross of holes through this thing. The holes are so clean. Wow, I wish planets like this really existed. This would be so awesome, dude. There we go. And it's flying through the other side as well. It's like completely hollow now, except for these weird lumpy bits on the inside. Someone wanted me to try digging a hole right through the moon, so I'm gonna do that and then fill it with grenades. That's pretty crazy, man. I'm just gonna put a hole right through the guts of it. All right, just like a bullet went through it. And then we're gonna try and hit it with some of these grenades. See if we can get them there in the middle. Oh yeah, 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 that's not bad. That's not bad. The thing we have to be careful of is these grenades going off. We'll just keep filling them up until we hopefully get this weird rod <laughs> of like grenades going right through the middle. 
Man, we are stuffing the moon like a turkey at Christmas. This is so good. Look at this. It's like we're trying to smuggle some grenades into the moon and we're just hiding them in the core. Probably the worst place to do that. Would you even call these things grenades? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've got a better name for them. I asked you guys in the last video what we should call this thing. Pretty much the majority of you said the whammy kablammy. Okay, which is a fantastic name. I fully support that one. It's probably the best name ever made. No, everyone said it's like an orbital destroyer or an orbital space cannon or something like that, which makes sense to smart people. Just gonna speed things up a little bit so we can try and fill this up a little bit quicker. <laughs> this is literally the most I've ever stuck in a planet. Okay, it's, it's getting pretty full on that side. How are we going on this side? The game is running like absolute junk. It's pretty bad. It's like if you tried to run this game on a Casio calculator. Place your bets at the bottom. Will my computer actually be able to handle this when I set them all off? Or will the game crash? Okay. So, so I can still see... Oh, yep. So that didn't work too well. It turns out the game doesn't like it when you try to stuff a planet with, you know, 5,000 grenades. It's not happy about that. Now, apparently you can increase the amount of nukes you can use here now, past 50, all the way up to 100. That is pretty good. Let's put just another crater on the moon with one nuke first, because I want to see the actual mushroom cloud on this thing. All right, let's zoom in. Right there, dude. Yeah, look at that mushroom cloud. That's a legit mushroom cloud. I like it. The cool thing about these nukes on the moon is that they don't actually leave like these crazy glowing red scorch marks. I want to see how many nukes it will take to actually get to the glowy center of the moon. Let's try that. 20, 40, there's 100. Just going 20 at a time. You know what I mean? That's just over a thousand now. Oh, we've barely made a dent. You could still sell this thing on eBay. All right, just past 3,000. I better start going 100 at a time. This is gonna take a really long time otherwise. 100 nukes at the moon, here we go. Whoa, whoa. That doesn't seem like 100. Man, that, okay, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, this thing's running like a two-legged dog. I think I should probably slow this down a little bit. I'm at 8,000 at the moment, and I still haven't cracked this walnut. Okay, at a best guess, that has to be about 15,000 nukes, and I think we've actually just made it. 15,000 nukes is what it takes to get to the center of the moon. Okay, so now that we can change how many nukes we can put down, we could possibly use cheat engine to push that over 100. Okay, so I'm gonna change the value to, let's try 200. It still says 10, but let's give this a go. Oh yeah, that's a lot more than 10. They, are, half of them exploded in the air. What is that about? They reach a point where the game freaks out and then they're like, eh, just blow them up. It doesn't matter if they haven't hit the ground. Okay, 500 nukes right now. Whoa, dude, that is so many. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. And no? Did the game crash? <laughs> whoa, 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 that almost blew my speakers. What? I just need, I just need to try that again, just for science. Wow. And they just explode everywhere in the in space. I want to call it the sky. It's not the sky. All right, let's try that on Earth. You're about to get wrecked, champ. That is good. That is some delicious nukes. All the ones that explode in the air, they don't do anything to the planet at all. It seems the higher the number, the greater the spread. If we bumped that up to 10,000, surely that'll break everything. Here it goes. All right, so I've got an ice planet here. What would happen if we hit an ice planet with 30 nukes? Will it actually melt? Will it turn back into like a water planet? No? It just looks like an ice planet with some kind of gross looking brown smear on it. You know what I mean? Like someone wiped something with this planet. Their mouth after eating chocolate cake. Well, we know what to do when these experiments fail. Unleash the Kraken. There we go. Nice one. Just all over this bad boy. There you go, champ. It's a frozen planet, kind of. Whoa. They're just going to town. Every single one of them, just having a bit of a nibble. It is a frosty planet, no more. <laughs> can we change the temperature using the sun slider? I don't think we can. Once you make your planet well done, there's no taking it back. The thing I enjoy the most is actually trying to find ways to break this game, right? <laughs> Now watch this. You get a stack load of Krakens in one spot on slow-mo, right? Right over Australia. Let's just do it to the kangaroos. Just a stack load of Krakens. And then you speed the game up again. You know, super fast mode. All right, what does that look like? Oh, that is good. 
That is one delicious looking kraken. Look at that, it looks like a flower. Now you put it in fast mode. It sounds like a stack of bees. And someone punching a tin can? Here it goes. Any minute now. Is there such thing as negative frame rates? Maybe there is. Hey, and it's good again. Nice. Alrighty, Earth, it's time to turn you into big giant jack-o'-lantern champ. Here we go. Like I said, I've never made a real one. Surely making one on Earth is exactly the same. All right, I'm gonna go for like kind of this shape. Yeah, sort of like an inwards triangle, like he's an angry looking jack-o'-lantern. Let's get this. There we go. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. The same shape. It's gotta be the same. Gotta curl the eye up a little bit more so he looks even more angrier. Okay, now he just looks cross-eyed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Look at that. We've got some eyes on our jack-o'-lantern. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, Okay, now we need to put a very menacing mouth in. Okay, so I'm just gonna do... Just like this sort of shape. And if I keep drawing over and over, it should eventually carve through. Just back and forth like this. The entire planet's going orange, which is exactly like a pumpkin color, right? Pumpkins are orange, yeah? I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, how's our jack- Oh, I just threw a grenade into his mouth. Sorry, dude. <laughs> that jack-o'-lantern actually looks pretty good. Except I blew out half of his mouth. Okay, a slightly more traditional design. Doesn't look too bad. What about if I go with the moon? Now the moon, as we know, its magma core is quite far in there. So if we try carving something on here, it might look a little bit better. Okay, here we go. See, watch this. So we can get a bit of a shape going on, but it only glows a little bit. Oh, this is actually looking really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are getting the desired effect. Look at that. That looks really good. We've got some eyes and it's glowing in the middle. Oh, I just dropped some bombs on his mouth. I didn't want to do that. Great. <laughs> Oops. And then carve through like this. So it glows from like inside of his mouth. There we go. Spiky teeth. I just zapped his face. Great. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I think it's looking kind of genuine now. What do you guys reckon? I think he needs probably a hole in his face, like right where his nose would go. I'm gonna see if I can do this without actually destroying the rest of it. Okay, nope, now he looks like Monstro from Binding of Isaac. Oh, this one's looking pretty good. I like this one. You guys need to rate this one out of 63. Let me know what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Let's just spin this moon around. Oh yeah, that thing looks pretty awesome. I think the eyes need to be a bit bigger. <laughs> It's Halloween time, champs! <laughs> he looks so weird. If you guys have got some stuff you want me to try in this game, let me know in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. See you guys next time.